Hey, what's happening to you guys? Percy and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinion on something that is, I don't know if it's controversial or not, I don't really care, but it's about Gamers Gate. And I'll be honest with you, I have nothing prepared, so I'm just going to be talking from the top of my head. And I don't, I, I also don't know how articulate I'm going to be in this video, but I just want to express my thoughts and opinion as a fellow gamer. I've been seeing Gamer Gates thrown around consistently over the past couple of days now and I feel like the term is now being misused and abused to try and silence people who have nothing but fair criticism and you know opinions about other people who publish who publicize certain blogs, videos or whatever the case may be. Like for example, my video here, if I were to be talking about a certain game and I got some information wrong about the game or I'm making baseless um statements about something the comment section is there for you guys to kind of critique and kind of point out the flaws of my argument or whatever the case may be you guys know how it, how it works but this kind of falls in line with what's been happening with call of duty um, the new call of duty um cyberpunk 2077 with the whole you know racism sexist all that shit it's been more prominent now that people are using the term gamergate to try and silence people who have opposing opinions against those who are, you know, who those who are figureheads in the gaming industry. So I'm talking about um, journalism and certain websites. I don't think I have to name the websites I'm talking about. You guys are probably aware of it by now, but um, it's it's really frustrating for me personally because the way that they're using the term gamergate is to kind of paint the people who are critiquing them as if they are villains, as if they are the poison in the community. And not only that, they use this term, now it is kind of like a coincidence that all the people who are opposing, who are critiquing, who are pointing out flaws, who are kind of sometimes making fun of them, just happens to be a bunch of white guys. And now they are painting this light that these bunch of white gamers are trying to protect their precious gaming world and in a sense, gating people of color, um, you know, women, and all that stuff from entering into the gaming sphere, which couldn't be further from the truth. I think that's the vibe I've been getting from all these people who make these statements. Like, I wrote a blog about this, just expressing my thoughts and opinion on it, because I think it's getting kind of ridiculous. The word Gamergate has now been abused and misused, and it's, I think it's time we just point it out for what it is. When people made statements, you know, stupid statements, like, you know, calling the game racist without actually seeing the full context of the game, a bunch of YouTubers called them out for it because it made sense. They are trying to tarnish a game's name and reputation without actually waiting to see what the game has to offer in full context. So a bunch of YouTubers called them out and in the next couple of days, you saw articles trying to tarnish the name of these YouTubers, trying to paint them as this evil bunch of people and you know you even see some people go as far as to try and contact their advertisers or the people who are sponsoring them and obviously saying are you seeing who you're supporting are you seeing who you're kind of financing you should probably pull your you know finance away from them and you know it's dangerous because then not only are they abusing their power their position and their ability to influence other people you know across the world but they're not doing it in the in a fair and ethically manner is, manner is that the best way to describe it i don't know and um it, it's it's kind of crazy like because now it kind of feels like this is a whole youtubers being the next generation of where people will get that new source of information news updates and all that stuff versus the old school way of doing things like having websites having blogs having reviews and all that stuff now for me personally um, I am kind of in between, like I'm, I'm a YouTuber, I've been posting every single day now because I'm doing the 100 days challenge but I also have a website where I post blogs and I post you know, reviews and things of that nature because I realized that one, people do like to watch videos but also people like to read and two, the reason why I started doing this is because I wanted to oppose that narrative that these guys have, if that makes sense, like I'm trying to balance things out, I don't know, weird way of thinking, whatever. But yeah, I just want to voice my thoughts and opinion because it's getting ridiculous now. It is like, yeah, if you criticize, <coughs> if you criticize an article, and that article just happens to have been written by a woman, 
you'll get called a misogynistic bastard, you'll be called a fucking disgusting you know, piece of shit, like you, you get, you'll get your name defamed and slandered because you just happen to have critiqued an article or maybe perhaps a video of someone who, who wrote something that kind of was factually incorrect and you know, it just happens. Or maybe, like I said, with the Cyberpunk 2077, when they, when that whole transgender thing popped up, the poster thing, and no one pointed out, like, no one, I, no one cared, I promise you, 80%, no, 90% of the people who saw that trailer, guess what we were, guess what we were looking at, the gameplay, the visual aspects, the possibility of doing something crazy in that world, no one cared about the poster. But one person pointed it out and then it snowballed and then obviously people wrote articles and this articles these days that's another thing that kind of pisses me off the articles these days feel more like hit pieces than oh, i keep hitting my mic hit feels more like hit pieces than actual productive um not productive um what's the one i'm looking for just I don't know, a piece of work that adds value to people's life if that makes any sense it it, it attacks the wrong things and then I don't know like Gamergate personally is not the same like what it was um, a few years back I, I don't even know if back then it, if, if it actually did some good if I'm being honest with you it's just another way to attack gamers who don't share the same opinions as the people who are currently have the most influence in the gaming spectrum that's just what it is so nowadays when you <laughs> so stupid it really is stupid and it's frustrating too and because some of these youtubers i do watch them and for the most part they just critique things and they just point out a different set of things like they they not push produce um they add they add a different perspective to what the other side is saying so in honesty sometimes it just feels like all the bloggers and journalism and all that stuff feel petty because now most people just want to watch videos and it, it's a fair it's a fair thing like some people don't have time to read something and they want to just watch a video but yeah i don't know if i explained myself properly in what i mean when i say that the gamergate thing is now just being abused it's being used to manipulate people into feeling like anyone who kind of has a different perspective than what is written in a you know for example ign Polygon, Kotaku, articles like that. If you oppose those type of view, you are a gamer gator. That's not a term, but I'm using it now. That's what you are. And I think that's it. I think I think that's what's happening. And sometimes now it's been affiliated with white gamers, and that is ridiculous. Like it's it's dividing the gaming community that never wanted to be divided in the first place. I promise you. If I had a PS4 somewhere, let's say in a public area, and I said, who wants to play with me? Anyone who's a gamer will just come up and say, yeah, I'll play with you. Because no one is seeing, you know, what, no one is seeing race or, you know, gender, whatever the case may be. We're just seeing another person. If it's a fighting game, we're seeing a person that we want to beat. If it's a co-op game, we're seeing someone that can potentially help us achieve a mission. I don't know. I think, I'm, I, think I have a different mindset. I think I have a different way of seeing Things. Not a naive mindset, I know there's fucked up people in the world, but I mean, it's not what they are trying to project, it's not what they're trying to say. Do you know what I mean? Um, you critique people and um, you get you know, blasted for it. Like, I saw this situation in which there was a Brazilian, you know, I think it's Brazilian streamer, I believe. She said, you know, screw all men or something like that, like, you know, men are trash or whatever the case may be. And she got dropped by Razor. Now, I saw a couple of articles that came out from some of the mainline um, you know, publishers and they were kind of defending her. And that was kind of interesting because when you think about this, if I just came up on, if I was sponsored by Razor, right? And I kind of just went, man, all women are trash. Before I even had a chance, to conclude my sentence and say this is my reason, I would have Reza drop me, probably find, <laughs> find for saying such words, every publisher on the face of the earth, slander my name and absolutely ruin my career, all because I said something like that. Because apparently equality doesn't exist. Um, it doesn't exist. 
But no, like, when she got dropped, she got dropped for a fair good reason, because, you know, when you think about it, most of our followers are, you know, dudes, so, and obviously Razor, you know, the gaming spectrum, yeah, it's all, it's, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. It's not a good idea to slander the people who are following you, because, you know, a good portion of them follow you. Then I, I think I saw something as well of, you know, her Instagram or something like that, teasing, you know, Doing what most girls tend to do, you know, when they have a... You know, I'm going too far with this. I don't even know where I'm going with this anyways, but... My point is, is that the Gamergate thing, it's, it's been abused. It's been abused now and it's been misused. It's not even the same thing anymore. And I think... We're doing the right thing. I think most of the YouTubers who have the influence and who are discussing, critiquing, and sharing their you know, opposing opinions than the ones that have been written are doing a good thing. That's that's what you're supposed to do. Like right now, like you could just oppose whatever I just said in this opinion. You have the right to do so. But I think with um, journalism and the whole Gamergate thing, it's getting a little bit ridiculous now. It really is. I mean, sometimes they'll post some good articles, you know, some good journalism, but most of the time it just feels like a consistent attack. On people who don't share the same opinion like you know what I mean if you critique let's say for example if a youtuber critiqued a you know female streamer and that female streamer is just doing you know twerking or you know clearly showing that cleavage in a position to try and get the 14 15 year old boys to watch them if you critique that girl you know it's gonna be, an, and you have, you have a, actually a good following. Like you have a good following. You just so happen to have critiqued that girl, maybe on a video or maybe on a tweet, and that girl tweets back. You're probably gonna end up finding yourself on an article saying how misogynistic that you are, how you're trying to tell women what to do with their body, how you're shaming, how you're doing all that stuff. And it's like, wow, it's 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 getting like that now. It's getting like that. I don't know. I think I think it's funny. This is why. I warned you guys at the beginning that I might be rambling, that I have nothing planned, but I just want to voice my thoughts and opinion in a casual manner, nothing too, you know, nothing too scripted. I don't, I don't even do scripted. Like whenever I open up this, you know, camera thing, which is new to me, I just talk and that's it. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this whole gamergate thing and this whole journalism attacking gamers now because that's what they're doing these days. It doesn't matter, like. Like, uh, they try to paint all these gamers as white male racist gamers. Well, I don't know if they're racist or not. I, I don't think they are. Because, you know, they haven't done anything that would indicate that they're racist. It's just so ridiculous now that it's frustrating. And it's, it's dividing people. People seem to have this mindset now that if you're a white gamer, you're most likely going to be racist. If you oppose something that a journalist has written, or, you know, whatever. But anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.